and stick weed. You want to dance, Ron? I want a polka. If you like pina coladas, get caught in the rain. If you're not into yoga, if you have half a brain, if you'd like making love at midnight, in the tunes of the cave. Hey guys, this is Chef Butters, and this is going to be a 1 through 10 guide in the Undead Starting Zone, Trisful Glades, Tris Fall Glades, however you want to pronounce it. Here we go. So first off, um, you're going to grab that first quest, and you're going to grind down to the left side here. Um, so this, this guide will be primarily one that you would definitely want to follow if you're planning on playing right as it's released. This, uh, this will try to uh, avoid the mob of people, the snowball of crazy men and women fighting over top of each other to get to that level 10. Um, so what this is gonna do, I think one of the main things right off the bat is you're gonna be avoiding that um, the, the quest in which you kill the skeletons in the town. I can't remember what it's even called. The mindless ones is what it's called. Uh, but until then, what you're gonna do is you come off to the left side of the back building here on the west side of the turn in quest spot for Rude Awakenings. And you're gonna to get to level two or at least two bars from level two. You're gonna grab the next quest, the damned, and you're also going to grab the mindless ones just in case. Um, I recommend doing the mindless ones if, if it's not that crowded for you magically. Um, but for those who are trying to avoid the mob, definitely just grab the damned, grab the mindless ones. And if you complete the mindless ones, great, but by far, you're not going to prioritize the quest. Um, come over to the west side here. There's not normally a lot of people over here. They're usually going straight for the mindless ones quest. And you can usually get this done. Kill all the, kill pretty much everything that you can. Um, focusing the dusk bats and the wolves, the scavengers. And one of the things about this guide I would recommend is. Um, if you are playing a strong lover like a mage like a warlock etc this guide is perfect for you but if you are a warrior you will struggle because one of the things you are skipping is you're skipping the mindless ones chain and because of that you are a little bit behind in a leveling so if you're not a strong lover class i don't recommend doing this i think i saw a rogue maybe doing a similar line rogues might be able to do it i'm not 100 percent sure about that though uh, priests can do it, mages absolutely, and warlocks definitely. Alright, so you turn in all these, grab Marla's Last Wish, the Knight, Nightweb's Hollow, and Scavenging Death Nail Quest. So you're not going to prioritize Scavenging Death Nail. Of course you're going to have lots of other people grabbing the crates. But every time you go through the town, throughout your questing here, you're going to grab the goods. It's not a chain quest, so you're just grabbing the goods as you're coming through. Go straight over to Samuel. Hopefully you beat everybody there. You're in there with the first wave of people and you can grab Samuel as he comes up. Obviously, I'm not playing on a release in this video. So, um, Samuel's dead. But even then, you can, you'll be fine. As long as you stay proactive around the Samuel spawn. Oh, I'm sorry. Actually, I do. I was able to grab Samuel really fast right there. Um, but yeah, yeah. So once you get Samuel, come over to the spider area. But if he, if Samuel's not there, just grind around the Samuel pit um, campment and then just stay proactive on your levels. Grinding is way important. If you do come over to the spider area, I recommend prioritizing the night web spiders first and then coming out to kill the other ones, but it doesn't really matter. It's whatever you're feeling at the moment. Um, it's going to depend. You're going to have to be adaptable and try to find what's the best efficient route for you and the best efficient methods for you at that time. You never know how things will play out. Some people might actually come straight over here with a duo partner and start killing spiders to try to get ahead on people. Um, that is a method a little bit, but I recommend following this one on immediate release.
even with the mindless one skip. If you wanted to follow this guide, um, and it wasn't very busy, if you were following this guide on another day of an on-release day, this guide is still a great guide to follow. Um, to be honest, it's still a very fast guide. Overall, you're still, you can, you can, you could hit uh, level 10 in perfect conditions in an hour and 50 minutes, roughly hour and 40 minutes. But even in a busy server, I've seen people with similar methods to this pulling uh, an hour and 50 minutes. So this isn't, this is a very good way to go, even, even on launch. Yeah, it's pretty much a clusterfuck down here for the minus one. So once again, I'm coming through, turning in quests, grabbing quests, and, you know, I'm just grabbing more of the goods while I'm on my way to kill the Scarlet Crusade. Luckily, uh, where I'm at currently, it's not that busy. And so, you know, getting that quest completed that fast is great. Don't stress it. You don't have to complete it when I complete it. Just try to get it done at least before you go. So be a little proactive about it, but... It's not a priority quest at the moment. You do want to complete it though. I have recommend completing it. You still have to come over here to kill the leader of this encampment, the Skyline Cannon. And you know, one, one other little comment I have to say about like the spider area and the Scarlet Band, and like, well, not necessarily the Scarlet Band, but any, quill qu any kill quest in general uh, that you have, don't be afraid to get in a group. I've seen people um, shy away from getting groups on kill quests, but especially in a busy area, absolutely group up. You will get behind otherwise, um, because then you're going to be waiting around for spawns and things like that. And not staying proactive is the worst thing. So as a duo, staying proactive is a lot better than being a solo and not being proactive. So don't be afraid on kill quests to... Um... to... keep killing. And to, and to duo up, mainly, is what I'm saying. Is not to be afraid of fear. When you can really allow yourself you don't resist the experience, you are truly beginning to master. Can you turn in the Scarlet Quest? Pick up the Red Messenger, go back again if you don't have your scavenging quest done, complete that on this pass, or the one or the pass on the way back. Also, at this time, what you can do, especially right off the bat at any point in time, go ahead and delete your Hearthstone, and there's a reason for that coming up. Delete your Hearthstone, don't worry about using it for now. Save that bag space for now. I do die over here in this encampment. Um, that happens. Try not to though. Be smart with your pulls. Um, Mevin can be tough. 
if the way to pull Mevin, he spawns two guys next to him. If you get the guy that's not the initiate, the other one, the melee, you can pull the melee to pull Mevin, and those they're pretty fine to handle. The initiates can be very tough, especially as a mage. All right, so you grab vital intelligence. And now you start grinding your way out of the starting zone. If you didn't finish the minus ones, if it wasn't under your cards, which it probably won't be, especially on release, go ahead and drop that quest. So as you come over to the north of the uh, Fields of Grief for the Pumpkin Quest, what you can use if you're a caster, and, and you can do this in multiple places throughout Vanilla, but uh, in particular over here, especially when you're behind in levels a little bit, um, use this fence line if you can. It doesn't, you don't, most classes can handle it either way, but I pulled extra. So I'm really utilizing the fence, jumping back and forth, making the, ro the mob run back and forth. Works very well. And so when you come over to the pumpkins, grab the pumpkins, keep killing. It's important that you keep your kill ratios up here. You want to at least be at least six bars before you leave this spot. And there's a little bit of a method that we're going to use to leave this area. So make sure you keep your kills up at all times throughout this entire guide, actually. You just want to keep killing. That's pretty standard. But especially because we are skipping ahead of two quests... It is absolutely important uh, to stay ahead here on the kills. That's going to catch us back up. Okay, so the important thing here now is you're going to use the auto unstuck. Make sure your hearthstone is out of your bag. Auto unstuck yourself. And when you do that, you're going to spawn in Brill. And then you're, you're basically gonna die, and you're gonna spawn in Brill, you're gonna res sickness, and you're gonna be in Brill. It doesn't work on this server, that's why you didn't see me do it. On the server I'm at, that doesn't work, but on the Retail Classic, you will absolutely be able to use that method in that field. It has been proven to work through resources. And then make, make Brill your home as you're picking up all the quests, turning in your quests. Don't forget to train. All right, so now you're gonna start heading south, uh, south, southwest of the town of Brill, coming through. And you're working your way kind of down the road if, if you can that is optimal because you're going to try to find i believe his name is gordo yeah gordo and you are going to pick up the quest from him the big plague boy he just he just patrols up and down this uh this road basically from brill down past the bridge here gordo's task And from here, you're just killing everything. I mean, this is this is one of the more grindy parts of the guide. Um, there's only one other spot that's one other section that's going to be coming up that's uh, just as grindy. But you're going around, you're killing everything, you're killing all the um, the zombies for the putrid claws. You're picking up gloom weeds. Keep your eye out for the gloom weeds, especially in the southern part here. Um, you should be ahead of people if you're following this tightly, and you should have plenty of gloom weeds to pick up. Won't be a problem. I actually end up dying here. Um, gotta be careful of the bats. If you go too far south, they don't usually take as far south as I did. And uh, there's level nine bats that chase me down and kill me there. I edited that out. 
<clears throat> Dust bats are your last priority, but make sure you just keep killing, even if it's not part of your quest. Don't kill things too far away from your level. Stay in that yellow range on their levels. And what I kind of do is I, I loop southwest, I come up the path, go past the pond, I just keep killing. And then I slowly make my way over here back to the graveyard area in Brill to pick up the Doomweed quest. As you will see here in just a moment. Don't forget to ever take food and water, necesito. For keeping up your killing, especially as a mana user. Okay, so now you pick up the Doom Week quest here in the graveyard and Brill, and then work your way north. Make sure um, you finish up Putrid Claws and you finish up your Darkhound Blood and stuff like that before you come up here is ideal. But you can always go back down south of Brill after you complete the Null Quests to uh, finish up, as you will see in this video. We have more Doomweeds in here as well. There's pretty much Doomweeds throughout the areas, so no worries there. Oh, and yeah. You know, one of the things that you can always take advantage of is always, you know, on the side, keep an eye on your your experience bar because you can always try to utilize it when leveling. You can try to use it to get that maximum health and mana. For those that don't know, of course, you get when you level, you get full mana and full health. And when you do that, you can try to utilize it in certain situations sometimes to better your, yourself and your leveling speed. Here's me, oom, um, in low health, utilizing the fence, kiting. For those that are liking the guide and, the, and this guide, check out our other guides too if you wish. You know guys, it means a lot if you guys throw down a sub on the subscribe button on YouTube. Hit that bell button if you want to get alerted for more videos and, and come check out the Twitch and any, of, any, any other of our community groups which will be posted down below. It means a lot, especially for a smaller channel like mine, for you guys to come in and throw some love. And also, don't be afraid to throw your ideas, what you would like to see more of, or what you would, uh, what you want to check out and get a guide for. So Magadai over here can be kind of a pain in the ass sometimes. Um, I, I don't know this for certain. I actually think he's like a level 10 on beta. This server is level 11. I think that's actually wrong. I could be wrong though. Um, if you have a duo partner, easy peasy. I know you can solo as a mage, especially with uh, potions. I wasn't having much luck here. It would've been better if I was level eight for it, but you can absolutely take him down. Luckily, somebody else came over here and we took him down, but don't, don't stress about it too much. It does give a nice chunk of experience. If you can't kill him, just carry on. Don't get stuck trying to kill him. Wait for somebody to come. 
You'll have some people on your server, I'm sure, uh, around the area. No guarantees. Here I am looking for the last gloom weed, doom weed. And so what you can do here is use use the auto stuck again. If you're up in the null area and you're going in to turn in next, which is the next process, use the auto stuck. I just died and pour back to Brill. Come over here to grab my last dark hound blood quick before turning in all these quests. Basic rule, pick up all quests, turn in all quests. As I was making this guide, some freaking alliance were coming in here to kill this quest giver down in the basement. That threw me off for a loop, so I kept logging in and logging out until they um, went away. Luckily for you guys, if you're on a server launches, you will not have to worry about that. Because there'll be nobody high enough level to come do that shit. So now you're gonna loop south. I like to loop down, and you're killing uh, dusk, uh, the duskwood bats, or the dusk bats, to uh, get that quest completed. Uh, the chill of death quest. You'll grab the course thread after the fact. Save backspace. <clears throat> Loop south to go northwest, basically, is the, the path. So you can slice this either way. You can walk all the way northwest up to the farms to get the Scarlet um, Scarlet Crusade quest done, which I actually prefer. Um, some people like to go over to the skeleton area, do that one to get the remains and things like that. I like to go over here first because while I'm eight, the sixes still give me yellow experience, whereas if I'm nine, they don't. I just feel like there's a little bit more higher levels over in the remains area. 
But if you do choose to go get the remains first and then come over here, what you would do is then just hearth for sure. As long as you have the appropriate amount of experience, which is eight bars in on nine. When you turn in all these quests, that'll get you to 10. Get about 12 bars of experience a little bit more. These murlocs are something else, man. And the murlocs killed me. Those murlocs are a pain in my ass. As a mage, the oracle ones can be very tough. Sometimes the RNG is just not with you with the resists and things like that. The last fin was being very pain in the ass on the drop rate. And that little bastard killed me at the same time. I hate these murlocs. They're a pain in the ass. If you don't kill them with 100% health as a mage and their oracle, they can be a pain in the ass. You need 100% health to be on the safe side of things. Grind your, grind your way over to the skeleton area, the farms area, the other farm. I can't remember the name off the top of my head.
So as you're going around killing all the um, the skeletons for the remains and things like that, and you get all the um, all the quests finished over here, and, you, and that's that'll be it for the rest of your quests. Um, and just make sure the main thing is your eight bars in into level nine. You just go back to uh, Brill. You can either hurt there, whatever the case is. You can grind down there, whatever you'd like to do. You turn in all your quests down in Brill, and uh, that'll put you to ten, as long as you're eight bars in. Guys, we are like, I don't know, a month and a half away from release on Classic. And, and so if anybody here is uh, new to the channel or anything like that, come look at our guild. Uh, there's a link below. Come ask to join our guild. We'll be on a Horde side on a PvP server. And uh, we will be doing some good raid progression and whatnot. So hit us, hit us up on that Facebook group. Come ask to join. Come ask questions anytime. I'll answer them. I'm around all day. So... Hope everybody enjoyed this guide. I'm just finishing up my eight bars and then I'm going to hit up Bree. And that's all she wrote. <laughs> thanks again guys, let me know what you would like to see improved or what you would like to see on the guides themselves. And uh, we'll keep pumping out videos. I appreciate you guys so much and have a wonderful, wonderful week and day. Cheers.